Hello and welcome, my name is Kaylee Jo and I make content all about my experiences as a theater educator and welcome to Musical Monday where I take a few minutes every Monday to share a little bit of background information on a musical title and this week we are looking at a musical that is based on a wildly popular animated film and that is Shrek the Musical. So please take a look in the description box down below for some links to some great clips of this show. Shrek the Musical is based on the well-loved DreamWorks franchise of Shrek films that began in 2001 and is all based on a novel published by William Stay in 1990. The musical premiered on Broadway in December of 2008 and received eight Tony nominations and one win for Best Costume Design. Despite positive reviews from audience goers, the show simply could not survive because it was incredibly expensive to produce. And so in January of 2010, after just over 400 performances, the show closed on Broadway. In 2013, DreamWorks released a DVD of that original Broadway performance with a lot of behind the scenes footage. Today, this show is available for schools and community theater groups to perform, and they even have a junior version for younger performers. I have actually done an entire video comparing the full length version to the junior version, so if you wanna check that out, I will put a link up on the screen. The musical version is very similar to the plot of that 2001 film, but the musical plot definitely gives us more background on characters like Shrek, Fiona, Farquaad, and the fairy tale creatures and kind of explains why they are in the place that they are now. As a recap, in the film we have Shrek, he is an ogre who lives alone on his swampland and wants to keep it that way. We also have Lord Farquaad who is looking for a wife but is also trying to push all of the fairy tale creatures off of his land. Unfortunately, this is how Lord Farquaad and Shrek become entangled because Lord Farquaad pushes all of those fairy tale creatures onto Shrek's land against his wishes. On a side note, we have Princess Fiona, who has been locked away in a tower guarded by a fiery dragon. It just so happens this is the princess that Lord Farquaad has decided that he wants to marry. So whenever Shrek goes to confront Farquaad about the fairy tale creatures being on his land, they strike a bargain where Shrek and his new companion, a magical talking donkey named Donkey, will go and fetch the lovely Princess Fiona from her dragon guarded tower and bring her back to Farquaad, and then Farquaad will push all the fairy tale creatures off of Shrek's land. And on that journey, Shrek and Fiona start to develop feelings for one another, which of course complicates the situation because Fiona is supposed to marry Farquaad, but it leads to a really cute ending with an emphasis on not judging people based off of how they look and being true to yourself and being proud of who you are. Fun fact, the original production cost $24 million to put together, and at that time it was the most expensive Broadway musical to ever open. But unfortunately that is what led to its downfall and why it closed so quickly because it was simply too expensive to keep going. In the musical, there is a character called Dragon, and she is, of course, the dragon who is guarding Fiona in her tower. She also ends up being a little smitten for Donkey, but that's beside the point. So over the years, this character has been portrayed in several different ways, and I'm gonna try to throw some images up on the screen to help you visualize this. Um, most commonly, she seems to be depicted as a very, very large puppet that is operated by puppeteers, and then usually there is an actor who is voicing and singing for her that is generally on stage with the puppet, but sometimes they're actually backstage, so you never even see them. I've also seen this character portrayed as an individual performer who is dressed in a dragon costume. I've also seen it where there are multiple, like two or three performers who all act as the dragon, and they are all dressed in a dragon-esque costume. So it has been done in a lot of different ways, and you have a lot of wiggle room there because Dragon does have her own song, and she is a really important character in Act One of the show. So my question for you this week is how would you choose to portray the character of Dragon if money was no object in your production of Shrek the Musical? Feel free to put all of your thoughts in the comments down below. That is all for this week's Musical Monday. Thank you so much for watching and as always, brick leg.